And hello, hello. My name is Helmut Meshko and welcome to another tutorial of hostmarket.com. And today there will be a short video showing you how to delete your website, both files and databases. Sometimes we all get to the point where we've done something, everything is a mess and we just want to delete everything, everything and start from the point zero. So with one click installs, with one click installs, um, it is very easy to get started, but the deletion process is manual. So you have to do it manually. Okay, let us let us see our demo account. And first of all, we will check the domain names. So we have in our demo account, we have three domain names, domain, uh, domain18.info, uh, domain5.net, that is a primary domain name, and the location is public HTML, the file location, and domain7.net. All of these are three dummy, three dummy uh, domain names. So let's start with domain5.net. Uh, the files are in public HTML. So what do we do? Let me open a new field. So we are going to file manager, file manager. So we, so what we are gonna do first, we want to delete all like WordPress installation that is put up on domain5.net. So we are going here. The files are loading as we remember yes the file location is public html public html and this is quite simple so first of all so first of all you want to see which database <coughs> is associated is associated to and let me go once again let me open another field so uh, you will need to delete files and databases. And we have three different databases here, and we have to understand which database applies to this WordPress installation. So we are opening WP config. And it is opening. Here we go. We can see that the database is C4E, ending C4E. So C4, C4 is this one. So we can delete this database. And database has been removed. And what we do here, we just select everything. We just select everything. Then on your keyboard, hit delete, delete. And files are being removed now. Excellent. So that's done. Let us say, and let's go to file manager in the very beginning. And then we have, so then we have another, and then we have another uh, WordPress installation. Let us say we want to remove domain18.info as well. So the folder is domain18. We're going to domain18. Once again, we are checking wconfig. So which database is this installation connected to? C1B. So we are, let us let us go back to home and once again. So you would go to MySQL databases, C1B, C1B, remove, remove. Database has been removed. And you can delete all the files. Don't worry about anything. Just again on your keyboard, hit delete and delete it that's it that's it and this this is a database that has been set up earlier it is it is not connected to any any wordpress installation it was just a leftover so i can delete it as well that's it it is that simple it is that simple and this was a short short tutorial on how to remove your wordpress or wordpress installations or which, whichever whichever CMS you are using. And if you have any requests, please use our support ticketing system on the at hostmaria.com. And if you have some special requests, if you do not understand something, please let us know or either in the comments of this video or, or by, by email or by support ticket. And we will create a tutorial on how to do this and that. More and more tutorials will be coming in. And of course, thank you for using hostmaria.com. Have a great day.